Hello everyone. Um, hope you're having a great day. Um, this video is going to be about um, why you as a Christian um, should not be supporting any evil doings of anybody. <clears throat> um, because basically it makes you just as guilty um, as the evil. So, um, I'm going to go over two verses that talks about this. Um, but like I've previ previously stated um, in another other videos, um, that the Bible is repetitive. So it's multiple other verses other than the two that I'm going to share that um, are saying the same thing, basically. Um, so, the first um, scripture I'm going to share is Proverbs 17, chapter 17, verse 13. And it said, Whosoever rewardeth evil for good, evil shall not depart from his house. So, <clears throat> rewardeth um to reward some something um it means to give or done in return for good um mainly it's talking about physical gifts um, um but if you're rewarding somebody um that has done evil for that um you're not supposed to be involved in that <clears throat> um the second verse that I'm going to go over is Proverbs chapter 17 again, um, but it's verse 15 this time. It says, he that justifieth the wicked and he that condemneth the just, even they both are abomination to the Lord. So um, justify, the definition of that is to show or prove to be right or reasonable. Um, basically, is um, saying uh, more of your verbal support um, in trying to um, say that the evil is correct that has occurred. <clears throat> um, so we are not supposed to... Um, to support that we're not support we're not supposed to support evil and as well we are not supposed to um condemn the just <clears throat> and i know in my previous video i talked about um what condemn means as well so both of those are an abomination to the lord and it reminds me even though the legal system <clears throat> The legal system that we have here in the world, um, it supports evil, but um, evil will go against itself. So evil will put other evil in jail as well as, you know, um, good people that are non-evil uh, will be put in jail. But when we're knowingly supporting people just because uh, we like their music, we like their entertainment, um, it's, you know, here recently we've had a celebrity that, you know, they admitted to raping and drugging women <clears throat> and um, they spent, you know, a few years in jail, but they ended up getting out um, way earlier than expected because evil was used against them to even bring, you know, get them locked up basically and didn't go um, by the book. But that does not mean that us Christians are su supposed to support it because um, that is still wickedness, regardless of what the um, legal system says, regardless of the world says, um, if there's evil that's been done, 
we are not supposed to support it. So, and it makes you just as guilty. And the thing about that is that you're cursing your own bloodline. So you're affecting your own children and your children's children by the wicked that you chose to support. So you're supposed, you need to depart from evil. You know, you may not be doing the evil yourself, but it says a lot about your heart if you are supporting evil. And I don't care who they are, if they're a celebrity, if they're your family member, your sibling, your parent, your um, grandparents, your cousins that are doing wrong, you, you cannot be supportive of that. You can still love them. I'm not saying that you can't love them, but you can't support um, the evil that they do. And, you know, it's very interesting, um, just like, you know, some of the rules in the um, in the world system even kind of supports that they, you know, our system take things from the Bible <clears throat> and use it towards their advantage, if y'all didn't know that. But <clears throat> like um, something that I'm thinking about is. I had this cousin that he was um, in the, he was something about he went, it was him and his friends. They went over this guy's house um, and the friends that he was with, um, they ended up getting into, <clears throat> his friends ended up getting into an altercation or whatever. And the guy pulled out the gun and, you know, killed the other guy, whatever. Um, he wasn't a part of it, but he was there. And just because he was there, um, they gave him just as much time as the person that um, killed the guy. You know, so it says a lot where when you support evil, you're just as guilty as the evil that you support. So you need to be very mindful and careful of the type of support um, and who you're supporting um, to really know that this is not um, an evil person, their background and history, um, because, you know, you don't want to bring evil into your house where it stays in your house, in your bloodline. It's not worth it. So I just wanted to share that with y'all and, um, and also, oh, and one thing going back, like I said, to an abomination, <clears throat> um, an abomination is where it's wicked and vile and disgusting and morally wrong and God hates it. He hates it. So it's just as bad as sin when he says things are an abomination to him. It's just as bad. So I oh, wanted to um, just bring that word to y'all and hopefully um, it helps you in your daily living as a Christian. All right. Thank you.